These days there has been an increase in the number of respiratory tract infections whether they are upper respiratory tract infections or lower respiratory tract infections. A lot of patients have been coming to the OPD with cold, cough, running nose or either blocked nose, fever, myalgia as well as body ache. So what has been the reason for such an increase or spike in the rate of respiratory tract infections? Let's find out today. Hello and welcome back to hashtag Ask Dr. Namrata. So the most important reason that I have observed in my clinical practice since the last two months with the onset of these winters in Mumbai has been the pollution. The level of air pollution in Mumbai these days is horrible and this is combined with poor air quality as a result of which patients who already have underlying respiratory tract infections especially lower respiratory tract infections like COPDs are having the exacerbation of these conditions. Another reason for uh, patients to come up with respiratory tract infection has been a poor immune status and the third commonest reason is the resistance of a lot of bacterial infections which causes super added infections respiratory infections in these patients so what is it that i recommend my patients to do so the first thing i tell my patients is to avoid places which are overly polluted avoid outdoor activities at places which are polluted apart from that if at all you have to go out in such areas you must try and wear a very simple surgical mask only while you are having a passage through overly polluted or, or heavily polluted areas Apart from this, very important uh, or routine health measures that you must follow is maintaining a good level of hydration that is 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. A healthy, nutritious diet that is a balanced diet is what one must definitely follow. And having some uh, respiratory exercises included in your daily schedule. In yoga, we call them pranayams. You must have uh, these pranayams incorporated for at least 35 to 40 minutes every day if you have the time uh, to do so. And if not, at least 15 to 20 minutes after you wake up early in the morning, practice pranayams. Also, if you are down with the flu, I recommend you, down with flu or any other respiratory uh, tract infection, I recommend you to stay at home and have adequate amount of rest and after you uh, keep doing well, only then get back to your work. So these are few tips that I definitely tell my patients to follow. What is the treatment that one must look forward to? So generally, upper respiratory tract infections are self-limiting and you can have uh, symptomatic treatment done at home for instance you can take steam inhalation if you have blocked nose and blocked sinuses you can take uh, salt water gargles if you're having a sore throat etc but if you have a lingering cough if you have fever on and off chills on and off then you must definitely consult your family physician who will do the right treatment for you as a homeopath, if you are a person who is coming across with repetitive and recurrent respiratory tract infections, I definitely recommend to you homeopathic treatment because we as homeopaths rectify the underlying cause and the reason for the recurrency. That is why your immunity status is much more improved and enhanced with homeopathic treatment as also there is reduction in the frequency and intensity of the recurrence of these infections. What, am, what are the remedies that I've been using so far uh, since the onset of winters in uh, patients with uh, cough, lingering coughs is uh, our remedies like Kalibichrome, then uh, Mephitis, Coralium, Rubrum, or uh, Heparsalve, Drosera, Spongia. Now these were just a few remedies that I have been uh, using and these are just to be taken as clinical tips. No patients are supposed to get medicine from any pharmacy and consume them on their own. If you wish to seek or consult for homeopathic treatment, you should definitely see a homeopath. I hope this information was resourceful to you. And for more such educative and informative videos, stay tuned to my channel. I hope to see you on my next video. Up till then, stay healthy and stay fit.